Hey guys, it's Extreme Strategy here, and today we are trying something a bit different. And what we're going to do today is yesterday. I did a video on the fastest victory ever, where I won a battle in literally three and a half minutes, even though in the uh, intro I say that I would do it in under five, well, it wound up being a three and a half minute victory. And I'm going to use the same army composition and see if I can do it on a base game level such as Nagarond. With an enemy army composition comprising of Reaper Bolt Throwers, Shades, some Harg uh, Harganath Executioners, Black Guards of Nagarond, a Dreadlord, and a Sorceress Fire. Now, when it comes down to infantry, I don't think in the campaign you're ever going to come across an army this powerful. But I gave myself one heck of a challenge. And what this whole thing is, is it's Vanguard deploying your entire army near their walls and just blitzing the snot out of them. And just absolutely overrunning them in just sheer number and quantity and speed. And just absolutely messing up all their formations because you'll have units trying to defend this point and defend this point and defend that point and it's a mess. So I did this and for some reason the AI... Uh, actually seems to have learned seems to have learned its lesson and it is now sitting back defect and defecting <laughs> they're defecting defending their capture point but they have completely left their walls wide open so we're actually going to go in uh, double time for the first little bit this is basically me thinking that there are shades up here just blitzing their walls getting ladders up and screwing up as fast as I could so now we're going to go into normal speed. So I sent Snitch down here to kill the Reaper Bolt Throwers. And he is going to do just that. You know, this is such a cool character, too. Yeah, this is the exact same army comp I used to do the three and a half minute victory. Because what I did is I... Uh, Vanguard deployed my entire army right next to their uh, capture point. That's how I won so quickly. I think I deployed my entire army, but a good portion of my army. I have Eshen Sorcerers and Assassins and everything else. And this is what they do. And this just cracks me up. So you see this spell? Yeah. Slow motion. It runs into their own units. It is literally killing their own Harganeth Executioners. Damaging the Dreadlord. Lagging out my game, and then it just swings around to do absolutely nothing. But yeah, it kills. For, oh, and then it swings right back through and hits more hard enough executioners. That is just a wild spell, and then it swings through and it's like killing blackguards and Nagron. Well, oh, and now it swings in and kills some shades. Yeah, that spell was awful if you were the Dark Elves. That spell right there is. Half of the reason I'm showing from this view this replay. Hilarious. It, it, that was so funny to watch that happen. And just watch it go through and just kill all of these units. Of course, all their shades are right here. Shooting at my guys. They do have some infantry back, back here, and I sent an assassin to go uh, try and do some damage back here. So he's fighting some shades and some sorceresses of fire and blackguards and nagrond and some reaper bolt throwers and they have some hard enough executioners right here defending. Probably because they know that this entire flank had zero defenses and I don't know why the AI did that. And now my death runners for this flank are just charging on it. All of these guys get shot up as they try and run to help out my assassin. Yeah, as Reaper Bolt Throwers is gone, these hard enough executioners are breaking. I mean, yeah, it's not a three and a half minute victory. You know, nowhere close to three and a half minutes. But still pretty impressive. Although, a lot of damage was done by that Sorceress of Fire. And this guy has sitting here to give spell support to both battles. 
try and help out some of my units. Because they are, like these guys, are taking a lot of damage. Arrows are pouring in over here on this flank, and there are Harganeth Executioners and more Harganeth Executioners. And then they get their um, murdering prowess. I love how all these shades and black guards and Nagrond are just clumped together. When do I cast that spell? Come on. Yeah, I have guys up here. I was putting guys on the walls to try and shoot down, but that did not go exactly as I planned. Unfortunately. Snitch is jumping around killing black guards. Nagron. Over here, the assassin is still fighting, along with the death runners. However, the assassin is uh, wavering. Back on the main flank, these guys are just getting shot and doing nothing else. Because I didn't realize they did not have the range to fire until a little while, a little while later. And on this flank, these guys are still holding up as hard enough executioners. And the whole pur purpose of this is to see if Vanguard deployment can win you a battle. That's the whole purpose of this video. And here comes a well-placed spell that just does so much damage to these shades. Yeah, they are getting tossed around by the Warlock of Darkness. One of them shatters, two more break. Yeah, that, that was a good spell. Good spell. And then I throw down a uh, brittle bone on these black guards of Nagron to help Deathmaster sn snitch out. Make sure that he can kill them all quickly. And I finally move all my guys down uh, off of the walls. So that way they can give some... Uh, uh, return some fire to these shades. So they gotta run forwards a little bit. And then get stuck behind our own troops. Genius! And then Snitch does begin to break. And shatter. And not break and shatter, but break. And the enemy shatter. Enemies are starting to shatter. Gotta get my words cracked there. There are still some units on the battlefield. Primarily Shades. Which, yes, they are good at range, but against melee and against just having the bejeebies blitzed out of them and having units up in their face and close and personal, they are not very good, as you can see. And yep, they all rout and shatter, and they are all running. And I took... Nagrond in under seven and a half minutes. Seven and a half minutes. They killed this army. And yes, their guys did good. Look at Snitch, he got almost 100 kills. This Eshin Sorcerer got 146. Because there were two uh, spells that he cast. One of them I did not show. Yeah, there were some good kills on these guys. Same thing on the other side, but we deployed almost the exact same number, and I lost only 549, they lost 1059. Yeah, Skaven are worse than Dark Elves when it comes down to full, you know, being able to get st stuck into a fight, and this is the full army comp I used, but being able to just get into a fight and fight it out and fight to the death. Skaven will break long before a Dark Elf will. However, when it comes down to numbers, it's the Skaven that will win. And when it comes down to being a Vanguard play like that, Skaven are beautiful. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any cinematic battles or tests that I do. I hope you enjoy the video, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.